Hey, Al Angelo from A Plus Racing. Hey, I want to tell you a little bit about belts. Not everything about belts, but a little bit about belts. All right. So we have two different types of belts. Okay. So we have cheap belts. We have real expensive belts. So I'm going to show you the difference, and I'm going to show you what makes one possibly better than the other. All right. So what I have here is I have an SFI belt. And it's spec for 16.1. So if you look right here, it says it right here on the tag. It also says December 2022. So it's valid until December 31st, 2022. All right. So anytime past that date, then the seatbelt is, is void. Okay. So if the seatbelt doesn't have this tag or the tag has fallen off, the seatbelt is void, <laughs> okay? So you, you got to remember that. All right, so this is an SFI belt, and it's a G-Force. It's a good belt. This is a latch-style belt. It's not a cam lock, which means that it has a lever, and I'll show you that um, at towards the end of the video. And so these aren't bad. They're not real expensive. Um, $80. This is 2021. They're about 80 bucks or a little less maybe. And so they're good for two years, okay? After two years, we can't race with them anymore. Now, if this is some four-by-four four thing you got at home or anything, nobody's checking it out, then that's up to you, you know? We're not allowed to race with them if they're expired. Okay, there's another kind of belt, and that's called an FIA belt. So let me show you one over here. Okay, so this is an FIA belt. This is an extremely expensive belt. These belts run about five to six hundred dollars and then it says right here fia and it's got the certification and then if i look on this side it says not valid after and in this case it's stamped uh 2021 all right so right now this belt is only good till the end of 2021 which is one day. <laughs> okay. So I could race this car for one more day. All right. And so, um, but these are really good belts. Now, one of the other big differences to it, if Mike can come in here and we could see that you can see that it's a three inch wide belt right here. And then it goes into a two inch right here. The reason why they do that is so that it fits over the Hans device. So this is a Hans device friendly belt. So that's pretty nice. The other thing too, is it's a cam lock. So if you look right here, and when you put the belt in, when I want to undo it, all I have to do is, is flip that lever and everything comes undone. And this is a six point, so it's got two here, it's got two on each side, and it's got two over the shoulders. <laughs> Here's the other one, okay? So it's a six point FIA belt, good for one more day. And these are Stroths, which are really good belts. Um, just a lot more money and they're good for about three years. All right. So it's whatever that date on there. That's, that's what you got. Sometimes they're five years. Now let's go take a look at one more. I have an example over here and it's another straw and this one's a fairly new one. And so if I look on the tag right here, um, yeah, it's got all kinds of fancy gold stuff. It says right here, not valid after 2024. Okay, and this is an FIA belt. All right, they even mark which one's left, and that. and this is a cam lock. So just like the other one, it's got a cam lock system on it. Makes it a little a little nicer to get in and out. Okay, all right, let's go back to the this one. All right, just real quickly, I'm going to show you the correct way to weave the belt on. So this is going to go through this hole. Like that. Okay. And then I'm going to weave the belt under the roll bar. Like this. Still sitting here like that. Okay. Then I'm going to weave this through the back. Like that. Okay. And I don't want a big gap here. Not This is fine. Then I'm going to go back through the top one, like that. And then once I have them adjusted to the correct length, then I come back, like this. You, like that. And then usually what I do is I'll take this, 
and I'll roll it up like that. And I put a zip tie around here, okay? So we'll do that at the end of the video and then I'll, I'll show you what it looks like. So let me show you how this belt works up here. Okay, so this one here is a five point. You can see there's even a tag right here. So we start off with this part right here, okay? And then this one, this left shoulder is bent like that. So this sits in here like that. And then what we call the crotch belt. Some people call it anti-sub belt. We just call it the crotch belt. Goes like that. This one, like that. And then finally, your latch comes on like that and it locks in place. All right. So that's how it looks. And then you would just pull these straps down to tighten it up. You know, on the sides, we pull these ones to tighten it up. And then to undo it, you basically grab this loop with your hand and then you pop it and everything comes flying off. I like to put the latch on my left side so that I can grab this with my right hand and pop it off this way. Or, you know, um, you could grab it with the left hand also. So um, I always like to put the latch side on the left side. But it's up to you, however you want to put it on there. All right? Okay. You're a little bit smarter now when it comes to belts. I hope this helped you out. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Hey, don't forget to subscribe. A-plus racing. All right? And uh, we'll bring you uh, tons more videos on how to keep your Spec Miata up on the front row, your Autocrosser, your, your MX-5. And I really appreciate you guys uh, and your comments. I really love answering them, and I love making videos like this one off of a comment. Somebody asked me about the belts on an email. This is for you. All right. Have a great day. Take care.